joking. To end my job. No, no, no seriously. No. I think what it is. No, 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 isn't that uh, men are actually better able to rule the world, but they want to rule the world more than women? You, Nothing more than that. Hold on. Yes. Do you think, Esther, like when we changed over the men and the women, yes. that we should have changed over the presenter to a male presenter as well, so it would be more equally balanced? Why, do you think I'm biased? I didn't say that. Right, all right, all right. Stand up there. Tell me, tell me. Come on, come on, tell me. Well, obviously, I mean, you're, you're going to be on the women's side. Am um, I? Well, I, I, I think so, oh, generally. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Well, am I, am I, am I she, she goes, obviously, slightly. Yeah. Am slightly. I really? No, no, no. I, I <laughs> help, but you're not being blamed for it, but it's, it's inevitable. It's unwitting. Well, yeah. it's unwitting, yeah. so I'm, so I'm, because what I thought I was trying... No, I'm not schmoozing again, and I've done your show a few uh, times. No, you're not biased, that's a fact. You are very fair. You are very fair. Because what I thought I was trying to do was to tease out of this. We know, yeah. because... In a sense, we've got four women here who typify the new role for women. What I'm trying to do is to analyse the new role for men so that the partnership can continue. If I am biased, it's because I think the partnership works, has worked in the past, can work in the future. Mm -hmm. So that's really, that's... Yes. 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 Like, I mean, that's why magazines like Loaded and that whole new lad nonsense began, because men were like running away again. Let's be boys, let's be yeah. childish, let's drink exactly. lager. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like they're, they're afraid of, yes. of adapting. Exactly. They're afraid what of adapting. Girls can be. All right, well, let's go to a young man here. Are you afraid exactly. of adapting? Um, I don't think so, no. Yeah. Um, we talk an awful lot about the role of men and the role of women. Yeah. I think we should be talking more about the role of a man and the role of a woman in society because I think every man has their own role in society, every woman has their own role in yeah. society, and as soon as we start grouping them together and we start using stereotypes, we can't, like, demand people are more sensitive. We can't demand Eric to become more sensitive to women. And likewise, we can't demand someone to bec become someone they aren't. They, we can't say to someone, you have to be more aggressive to attract the opposite sex. Because everyone is attracted to a different person. Yeah, yeah. Well, let, let me ask you about you. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. Have you got a girlfriend? I don't know. Right. <clears throat> if you had a girlfriend, would you mind if she earned more than you? <laughs> Have they? Would you mind if she um, earned more no. than you? No. Um, well, I can't say because I'm not in the situation. I may feel slightly resentful, but I don't think I would stand up to anything and say, like, this is wrong, you're earning more than me, or I should be earning more than you. Would you be happy to work for a woman? Yes. Right. Perfectly happy. You've got no problem there. Not so. And what about all this hunter-gatherer bit? Do you, do you feel worried? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I feel, I mean, I'm not an aggressive person as... Um, I'm using Eric as an example. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a hunter, as yeah. such. And yeah, I would like to be hunted. I think. I think there's a whole. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think we're demand, People are demanding a lot more from men. To is, if you go to a club, people are expecting a men to make them, make the first move. Yeah. And it's sort of. I don't feel like that's my responsibility what, to make But then the woman me. can't make more money than you, but she has to... No, I didn't say she so couldn't make more money than me. Suppose yeah. Annalise were to come up to you in a club and ask you to dance or buy you a drink. How would you feel then? <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> no. And how would you feel, Annalise, doing it? I'm, I'd be too shy. I, don't, I get too shy to talk to guys. So I, so could, so I could do it because I'm used to rejection. You know, it's fine. I come up, you want to dance, get out of here. <laughs> so you would literally... You, it, you sure, wouldn't mind. I, after the show, let's go. <laughs> Fine. Well, no, well, no, if we've, <laughs> if we've, if we've, if we've achieved nothing else, we've achieved that. Yes, Nip. Don't you think that all these problems start off when, no, when the kids God. start going to school? Yeah. And we're told that um, it's politically incorrect for gazers to make themselves different to girls and girls make their difference to boys. Yeah. And they're brought up as exactly the same, taught exactly the same things, not taught how to be women, not taught how to be men. They're all lumped together as this one big mishmash. So when they come out of the other end, the girls are not real girls, and the boys feel guilty about being boys. Were you brought up, were you educated alongside girls? I was hardly educated at all, but yet, um, <laughs> at, the, at, the, at the end of my education, I was brought up with one year of girls. That's the only? That's the, That's only, the year. only Well, maybe that was the problem. Are you sure that wasn't the problem? Well, I don't think I'm the one with the problem. I think, <laughs> I think, the, I think the girls are the ones with the problem. Yeah. Right, but you might not think the girls had that problem if you understood girls better. But I understand them perfectly. There's, there's no sense to them. There's, it, the sense is always the, there's the men who want to be men, and just and that's it. You can't help being a man. But the women want to be men. They want to be more yeah, men. Okay, wait a minute. I'll they tell you. Want I know. I know I'm, what men want. I know what men want. Two words: easy life. That's What's what they want. You try and talk to them, you get the same answer. Yeah, babe. You know, men, men don't want to listen. You want to be a man, don't you? Okay. Okay. Men do want an easy life. 
everybody would prefer an easier le uh, life. I, we're running out of time now. We've just got time to <laughs> say, yes? I just think that all this bickering between um, who should be the breadwinner and who should look after kids is going to get us nowhere until we learn that what we need is compromise. I mean, my parents have both work and have always both worked and you spent time bringing me up in between and I think through that I got the best of both worlds, you know, and it helps make us more stable financially and as a result of it I know that when I'm older I want to be a loving father as well as earn money and if the woman has to do the same whilst looking after the kids yeah. at the same time, so yeah. be it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've reached somewhere, Eric. It may be a new land that you will never explore, but it appears to be a land in which both genders live together happily and compromise and work in partnership. And if we can achieve that, it has to be good, not only for us, but for the next generation as well. Thank you very much indeed for exploring the battle of the sexes. It wasn't really a violent battle. It was an illuminating one. Thank you so much at home, whatever your gender, for joining us. Until next time, from us all, goodbye.